The YJ-18C stealth cruise missile made its debut at the military parade, boasting a range surpassing the U.S. Tomahawk. Just how formidable is it? How did it quietly reshape the rules of the game for China's naval land attack capabilities? During the solemn military parade on September 3, China publicly unveiled its latest YJ-18C cruise missile for the first time. Notably, and like other anti-ship variants, this missile was not assigned to the naval contingent, but directly integrated into the strategic missile contingent, a clear signal that the YJ-18C is not merely an anti-ship weapon, but a strategically significant land attack cruise missile. Foreign military analysts widely speculate its maximum range exceeds 2,000 kilometers, with stealth capabilities and precision strike performance potentially surpassing America's Tomahawk cruise missile. So how formidable is this missile, dubbed by observers as the land attack weapon of the 2020s? And how will it reshape the Chinese Navy's power projection model? In reality, for much of the Chinese Navy's development history, surface vessels and submarines have primarily focused on anti-ship and air defense missions. From the early Type 051 destroyers to the later Type 052C, their weapon systems were distinctly geared toward fleet defense and maritime dominance. The capability to conduct long-range precision strikes against deep land targets remained largely absent. The most direct fire support relied solely on 100mm or 130mm naval guns, whose range and destructive power were clearly no match for modern cruise missiles. This situation began to shift after 2010, as national technological capabilities and industrial manufacturing prowess surged. The naval equipment system gradually improved, and a new generation of ship platforms and missile technologies entered an explosive growth phase. In 2014, the first Type 052D destroyer entered service, introducing China's first universal vertical launch system. Its 850mm large caliber launch cell significantly expanded ammunition compatibility. The Type 055 destroyer, launched in 2017, took this further. Equipped with 112 identical large-caliber vertical launch cells, it became the most capable surface combatant in the Chinese Navy's fleet. Notably, these large-diameter VLS cells accommodate not only the HQ-9 series air defense missiles and Y-8 anti-submarine missiles, but also lay the foundation for deploying larger, longer-range missiles like the YJ-18, YJ-21, and the newly unveiled YJ-18C. Compared to the Silva VLS systems used on mainstream European vessels, China's large-caliber VLS offers significant advantages in weapon configuration flexibility. The latter's diameter limitations necessitate specially adapted shipboard variants even for cruise missiles like the Storm Shadow, whereas the YJ-18C's dimensional design was evidently conceived from the outset for multi-platform interoperability. Prior to 2020, the Chinese Navy remained in a phase of building regional air defense and anti-ship combat capabilities. With aircraft carrier forces still nascent and carrier-based aviation strike ranges limited, naval land attack missions relied heavily on air power and the rocket force. Consequently, even though land attack variants of the YJ-18 existed earlier, actual deployment ratios and training priorities leaned toward anti-ship versions. However, as China entered the three-carrier era in the 2020s, the number of mainstay destroyers like the Type 055 and Type 052D rapidly increased. Currently, eight Type 055S and over 30 Type 052Ds are in service, making it imperative to address the fleet's shortcomings and land attack capabilities. It is against this backdrop that the YJ-18C has stepped into the spotlight. Its deployment signifies that for the first time, China's naval surface vessels, submarines, and even Air Force platforms possess a truly stealthy, long-range, high-precision cruise missile for land attack missions. Judging from its appearance revealed during the naval review, the YJ-18C features a polygonal fuselage design, with sharp edges and radar-absorbing coatings, significantly enhancing its stealth penetration capabilities. Its technical approach resembles that of European stealth cruise missiles like the Storm Shadow and Scud, but with a larger body and more spacious propulsion section laying the foundation for achieving a range exceeding 2,000 kilometers. In contrast, European counterparts are constrained by NATO VLS compatibility standards, limiting their range to under 600 kilometers. The YJ-18C not only substantially exceeds this figure but may even approach or surpass the 1,600-kilometer range of the U.S. Tomahawk Block IV Plus variant, positioning it among the world's premier long-range cruise missiles. More significantly, the YJ-18C has likely evolved into a full series of variants for ship-launched 
submarine launched, and air launched capabilities. This means it can be deployed not only from Type 055 and Type 052D destroyers but also launched covertly from submarines, or even carried by heavy fighters like the J-16 and J-15B to conduct standoff strikes. This multi-platform capability grants the PLA greater flexibility in mission design and tactical options, enabling it to execute deep interdiction strike command nodes, and provide precision fire support during amphibious operations. Its placement within the strategic formation during the military parade indicates that this missile has transcended its role as a tactical weapon. It has been integrated into theater level and even cross-theater firepower systems, becoming a critical component of joint fire operations. From a technical perspective, the YJ-18C likely employs a composite guidance system combining inertial navigation, satellite positioning, terrain matching, and terminal image matching. This multi-mode guidance system maintains high accuracy even in high contrast environments. External estimates suggested circular error probability, SEP, may be less than 10 meters, potentially reaching the 5 meter range. Regarding warhead configurations, it likely employs a modular design, allowing for interchangeable warheads such as high explosive, bunker busting, or cluster munitions based on mission requirements. This enables precise destruction of diverse targets including command centers, fortified aircraft shelters, and underground bunkers. Notably, the YJ-18C's penetration capabilities extend beyond its stealthy aerodynamic design, with modern air defense systems becoming increasingly sophisticated, relying solely on stealth is insufficient to guarantee penetration success. Consequently, the missile is likely equipped with electronic countermeasure systems and decoy devices, enabling terminal phase maneuvering to evade enemy interceptors. This combined approach of Stealth plus electronic warfare plus maneuverability significantly enhances the missile's survivability and mission success rate. From an operational perspective, the YJ-18C's deployment has fundamentally transformed the PLA Navy's maritime strike paradigm. Previously, naval fleets relied on carrier-based aviation or land-based missile units for land attack capabilities. Now, they can independently conduct campaign-level strikes against land targets within their own formations. A formation of four Type 055 destroyers could theoretically carry nearly 100 YJ-18C missiles, sufficient for a first-wave saturation strike against deep penetration targets. Coordinated attacks with submarine-launched variants would yield exponentially greater impact. Compared to international counterparts, the YJ-18C marks China's first achievement of world-leading status in cruise missile technology. Russia's caliber cruise missile boasts superior performance but lacks stealth capabilities. America's Tomahawk, despite multiple upgrades, traces its basic design to the 1970s, with its platform potential nearing its limits. As a lot comer, the YJ-18C has fully incorporated lessons learned from various missile types, demonstrating distinct late-mover advantages in stealth, range, and intelligence. Particularly noteworthy is the YJ-18C's potential to integrate with other Chinese missile systems for combined operational capabilities. For instance, it could coordinate with Dongfeng ballistic missiles to execute a ballistic missile breach followed by cruise missile clearance, strike pattern, synergize with unmanned aerial systems to achieve a closed loop, reconnaissance strike assessment, cycle, or even integrate into an anti-access area denial framework to deter foreign intervention in distant seas. This integrated capability far outweighs the performance metrics of any single missile. Looking back, the evolution of the Chinese Navy's land attack capability, from near absence to the mature deployment of the YJ-18C, reflects a comprehensive leap in equipment systems, operational doctrine, and technological confidence. It empowers China's main battle vessels to transcend the role of mere shields in distant maritime operations, truly embodying the sharpness of a spear. Looking ahead, as the Type 055 and Type 052D destroyers continue rolling off the assembly line and new nuclear submarines join the fleet, paired with the YJ-18C's long-range stealth strike capability, the Chinese Navy will establish a multidimensional fire network spanning sea, land, and air across the western Pacific and beyond. This, perhaps, is the truest embodiment of the word, formidable.